delicate ears, full snouts, droopy lips and an elegant neck. Not every animal is blessed with such a genetic endowment. Camel cloning is all the rage in the Middle East, with wealthy clients wanting to replace their most beautiful, their fastest or their best milk-producing camel with one just like it. At present, we are concentrating on camels because we have so much demand for cloning camels that we are not able to cope up with, with the demand. Camels have been firmly rooted and valued in Arab society since antiquity. And camel racing has always been an anticipated event at festivals and celebrations. So the idea of having a duplicate of your best racing camel, equally strong and fast, was so tempting that it led scientists to produce the world's first cloned camel in 2009. Injaz was cloned from the ovarian cells of a slaughtered camel. Since then, scientists in this clinic have ramped up production. We can produce the exact genetic copies of the animals, of the elite animals, whether they are racing champions, whether they are good milk animals, whether they are elite bulls or whether they are uh, they mean beauty queens. While camel races are still popular, the new development is beauty pageants. Yes, you heard that right, beauty pageants for camels. And it's high stakes, with a top prize of $370,000 up for grabs. Judges have discovered camels illegally being given Botox and cosmetic fillers. But a clone, that's well within the rules. We have cloned some of the beauty queens also. And they are genetically same, exactly genetic same copy of the beauty uh, queens. Now the question is whether they will, I mean, be beauty queens, I mean, they will be exactly same genetically. But, I mean, when the next time, when they will be in the competition, whether there will be any other better than them in the competition, that is the question. But it doesn't come cheap. A duplicate camel can set you back $100,000. And while animal cloning remains a hot ethical debate in the scientific community, it seems these ships of the deserts are only going to continue to be replicated. Taiba Aiden, TRT World.